Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Philadelphia Hates Craig Carton. Yep. Hey, All facts. They don't like you. No, they don't. Nope. No, they don't. Close, 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 close. Bunch of snowflake sheep out there <laughs> in Philadelphia. We'll get to it. Trust me, it is the Carton Show. Good morning to you. That guy right there is Mr. David Jacoby. Yeah. Everybody. There I made man right here, the most handsome guy we've ever had on the show. <laughs> I mean, Super Bowl champion, Willie Mr. Victor no, Cruz. No, no, no. Good. Sorry, <laughs> Vic. Uh, sorry, Willie. And the, the biggest guy. What? We, uh, the, not the biggest. biggest. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not the biggest. My main Jeff man, no, T. Suggs was bigger than you, and <laughs> Jeff Schwartz could lose a couple of LBs as well. Yeah, he's taller. Okay. Yeah, okay. close. Okay. That's Willie really Cologne, everybody. Yeah. 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 I can tell you here, it is a great day here in New York City. And if you are just waking up, and you're wondering why I referenced Philadelphia out of the gate. It's because the war continues. Yeah. The war continues. Like, I'm a New York guy. I worked in Philly, met my wife in Philadelphia, have great friends in Philly, but you're a bunch of low grade animals, frankly, <laughs> living in Philadelphia. And now they've got their panties in a little bunch right yeah. now because all I did was come on the TV show on Tuesday and say, look, there's a real problem in that Eagle locker room. Mm -hmm. That's not a news flash for anybody. If you watched anything that happened in Philadelphia or read any of the reports out of Philly in December and January, major dysfunction amongst the guys and between the coaching staff and the guys, which is why a defensive coordinator got fired, an offensive coordinator got fired, and Nick Sirianni was this close to getting fired as well. Yeah. So I just pointed out that there is a major problem in that locker room. I happen to know what the problem is. What is it, Craig? And you haven't backed down from you that. you to tell us? But I never told you what the problem yeah. was. Oh. So all of a sudden, Adam Schefter comes along. He does a radio spot in Philly on a weekly basis, mm -hmm. and he claims that he reached out to the Eagles, and they told him the report is BS. And I'm saying to myself, the Eagles denied my report? <laughs> what was my report? I never said publicly what the issue was. True. I just said that there is an issue. Correct. I know it from a factual standpoint exactly what took place that created this divide, but I never spoke on what the divide was. Right. Mm -hmm. So my question now is, what is it that the Eagles denied? Mm. And just because the team denies something doesn't mean that you have to believe them. And just for background's sake, if you'd go back for the last 40 years, the single biggest sports story in Philadelphia was the sale of the Eagles from Norman Brayman to Jeff Lurie, who's the current owner of the Eagles. Right. There is one guy in America that broke that story. His name is me. How? Oh, okay? okay. It's the biggest broken story in Philadelphia history, the sale of the Eagles. So maybe I do know what I'm talking about. A little bit. But I'm trying to figure out why is Philadelphia so sensitive to the fact that I know what took place, why there's a divide, and now all of a sudden you would think <coughs> on Sports Talk Radio in Philly that I, I, I offended someone's mom. I didn't. Well, they, they want to erase this past season as much as they can. Oh, You're talking about a okay. team who was 10-1 at quick. one point, and everything they thought, the, the foundation on the core of this team crumbled right before their eyes. I mean, be honest. They, they played the Buccaneers, and the end of that score was 32 to 9. 9, Ooh. correct. Think about embarrassing. that. Embarrassing. It's, it's embarrassing because that team folded value. You can go back to that Giants game or whatever. But you go into a playoff game where we, we all know a playoff is supposed to be a reset, right? Whatever the uglies were during the regular season, it shouldn't happen in the playoffs. That team folded, and they've had yeah. a gutless performance. So here's what happens. As the day progressed yesterday, I went from the most hated guy in America, oh, you're making it up. And again, I never even said what it was. Right. I just said I know what it is. And it's a real problem moving forward in Philadelphia. Yep. So, again, I don't know what the Eagles are denying. But then late last night, there's a guy that's covered the Eagles for about 20 years. His name is Derek Gunn. Very well thought of reporter uh, in Philadelphia who's been on the Eagle beat for a very, very long time. He comes out yesterday and goes, there is a real problem here, but it's not what you guys think. Because there are rumors out there about what it might be. And I'm not making this up. They are now claiming that the single biggest problem in Philadelphia was that that fat security guard, <laughs> Dom, got banished from the sideline after they got blown out against the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Remember, he got into it with Greenlaw, yeah, they touched exactly. each other, whatever it was. That the, 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 the factual reason why the Philadelphia Eagles imploded last year is because Nick Sirianni, is such an unprofessional and immature that without having the security guard by his side, he started getting in fights with everybody because yeah. he couldn't control himself. Well, that's an interesting report. 
And I didn't say that I knew that. Mm. I didn't say I didn't know it. Mm. But if you're going to blame the implosion of the formerly 10-1 and Eagles going 1-5 and down the stretch on the fact that your security guard wasn't on the sideline, don't you dare tell me that there isn't dysfunction in that locker room and that that organization isn't a minute away from totally imploding for a very long time. Yeah, they're absolutely in shambles, and you can just feel it. I mean, the type of drop – I don't think – like, every team had their last season roles or their end of the season kind of ups and downs as they get into the playoff. But this type of decline that they had, that yes. they were not able to pull themselves out from – was just catastrophic. Yeah, well, but you, you, it's all on Dom. Yeah, we didn't have yeah, our security yeah, guard yeah. standing next to our stupid yeah. head coach. And without Dom being there, all of a sudden, Nick Sirianni's fighting with coaches. He's fighting yeah. with players. And the whole thing blows up. Insane. And here's the best part of it. That's not even what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the One closing. for me, zero for Philly. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest big bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.